It's time for your initiation. I don't want you getting the wrong idea about what your life's going to be like in here. Your daddy's name is Spit. Stay away from me. Outside of these walls, your daddy may be a powerful man, but in here, I make the rules. And it's time you learn rule number one. Frank, hold up. What? You got a big problem. Are you sure you want to stay? There's not much to see. I'm going to fit your boyfriend with shackles and load him in a van. Yeah, I'm staying with Jason until the end. Can we speed this up? i got to get to Pentonville as soon as possible. I have to make sure your paperwork's in order. My superiors are adamant that this be airtight with no loopholes in getting released. And I'm also very serious about you completing the full sentence. Two to five years, just so we're clear. I'm sure your superiors are loving every minute of this. Jason is a much bigger gap than a brain damaged 18 year old kid. This is right? Mr. Morgan's idea, not mine. So by rights, we should be holding you in a cell until the paperwork's ready. But I'll let you wait in the interrogation room. And she's okay to join him. So it was going to take this long because we could have spent more time at the cabin. Thank you again for the cabin. What was your favorite part? Lunch. Nice. <laughs> I really did like it up there. Just away from everything. All of this. I just wanted to see Jason for a minute so I could say goodbye. It's okay. You can stay for just for a minute. I just wanted to see you before you go so I could thank you for doing this for Michael. I told Molly and Morgan I was coming here and they asked me to say thank you for them too. And you all love Michael so much. And I know it's not fair that you have to go to prison and be away from Sam. But Michael really needs you right now. And I just want to let you know how grateful we all are. You were so scared when you got sent to prison. But now I feel like he's going to be okay. Be there to protect him and take care of him. If you want, we can write you and visit you too. Thank you. That would, uh, that would mean a lot to me. You know, I need a favor from you. Of course. We want to help you any way we can. Okay, good. I need you to spend as much time as you can with this one right here. I need you to keep her busy. Make sure she has a little fun, okay? Michael's really lucky to have you to take care of him and protect him. After my dad wrecked his whole life. Thank you. Thank you. You look great with Christina. You know, she's struggling right now. And it was nice. She's going through such a hard time as it is. Yeah, I was going to ask you to do something only if you're, you know, you're okay with it. Yeah, I mean it. I was just, you know, wondering maybe you can help Christina understand Sonny a little better and that, you know, Sonny does love her. Okay, um, I love you very much and, you know, I would do absolutely anything for you, but I'm, 
honestly finding it really hard to do anything nice for Sonny right now. Jason, you are the one who backs up your love for those kids with commitment and sacrifice. Sonny, not so much so if Christina wants to blame him for this mess. I'm sorry, she's got good reason. Stop Frank from giving you his welcome to Pentonville beatdown. Yeah, no, you did. And uh, thanks, thanks again. Oh, thank you isn't how it really works in here, kid. It's time for you to pay up. Yeah, of course, you know, I, I promise I will find plenty of things for Spinelli to do. I don't know, maybe I could... I could send him doing some undercover work on those cheating spouse cases. I think he'd probably make a good bartender in one of those strip clubs, right? Oh, it would be good actually for me. I wouldn't have to wear any of those ridiculous outfits. You remember when you, when you showed up at my place before we got back together in, in one of those outfits? Yes. Did you wear that on purpose? Well, what do you think? Oh. Well, I think you looked really, really good. Good? Uh, I mean, I was... I mean, good's kind of good, but I was going for, like, unbelievable, I can't live without this girl hot. That's what I was So it was a setup, the whole uh, thing... No. No, I wouldn't say set up. I, I, I think maybe I was trying to give you a, a reminder of what you're missing out on. Maybe put out the feelers to see if you're still interested. Like that was a question. Baby, it's just you and me. The ready. It's time for Jason to go. Well, you might as well all stay put. Mr. Morgan is not going anywhere.